Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about via arrays or via stitching. Um, and it's a feature that's available in the AllCAD PCB Designer Professional License and the Allegra PCB Designer License. And what it's going to do is allow me to add groups of vias very, very quickly um, using existing items. So we'll start off, we've got um, three options if we go to the Place menu and via arrays. I've got matrix, I've got mount, uh, boundary, and I've got unplaced. So we'll start off with a boundary. Um, now what I want to do is I want to add some via, some vias or some EMC shielding vias all the way around the edge of the board following the board outline. So if we look at our options menu on the right hand side, um, these are kind of just fold out menus normally, so we'll just fold it out and pin it out. Um, I can enable a DRC check, um, and then I'm going to pick the net that I wish to use, the pad stack which I wish to use. Um, this pad stack is going to come from the, the physical constraint rule um, based on the net that I have there. I want it to be on the inside edge of a shape. I'm going to pick a distance of 50 mils and let's say uh, 50 mils for the via to via spacing. I've also got the thermal relief connects type for this via. Um, I'm going to leave that as full contact. I'm then going to click on the board outline. Now you can see I kind of get a preview of where the vias are going to be placed. Um, so if we zoom in up here, I probably want these a bit closer to the board edge so we can actually make some changes here. This is just a preview at the moment. So let's just reduce this to say maybe 25 and we'll reduce the via to via gap to 25. That kind of gives me a preview of what I want to see. I'm looking quite happy with that. Now you'll notice that I've got some vias here that are going to clash with these pads here. So let's just do a right click place and see what happens. I get some DRCs and then because I've got this DRC check enabled, it would automatically clear any DRCs that I have and I'm good to go. So that's just placed all the via arrays here. Um, so I'm going to use the same feature, the boundary, but this time what I want to do is I want to select this C line and I want to add a shielding array of vias around this, this, this track here. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll take off the inside shape edge. I'm going to say on both sides of the C line and then I'm literally just going to go and click the C line. Let's actually get the C line, make sure my fine filter set correctly pick just the C line there we go so you can see the vias then get placed around the the, the track um, and again this is in a preview mode so I can reduce the the distance of the vias to this specific object once I'm happy with them again a right click place would then place the vias and then remove any vias that were causing a DRC error um, that's quite key really if I hover over one of these vias and do a show element you can start to see that I've got a couple of properties that have been added there's the the din therm con type full contact which is the vias that were set and they've also got this via array ID so which can speed up if I needed to get rid of all the vias so if I use the place via arrays and unplace option I can single click one of these vias and it would remove all the vias in that via array with one go so I could just do a right mouse button delete and that would get rid of all of them I mean I can still just use the delete command make sure my fine filter just has vias and then pick the individual via that I wanted to get rid of but if I wanted to remove all of these again, there's a place, via arrays, and place. Right click, I could just delete all the via arrays in my design and that would get rid of all of them. So that's the boundary based via arrays. Um, I've also got a place, via arrays, and matrix. Um, similar kind of options menu, will I'll enable the DRC check. I can do board mode, I can do an area, so I can just draw a window. In this instance, I'm gonna do a shape mode. We'll pick the ground net, the pad stack that we want to use, and we'll set the distances that we want. So I'm just going to set a 40 thou gap. Full contact again, and then I'm going to click on the shape. And then what will happen is I get a preview of all the vias, similar to the way that the boundary option worked, and that would show me all the vias that I need to have. There's the preview come up now, so I can now decide if I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good, so I'll just do a right click place. The vias then get placed and any DRCs are then cleared automatically.